What's up YouTube? Press here. Good afternoon and welcome to my channel. This is 36 Full Press and today's episode, this is a, uh, a spinoff of my good friend El Toro's um, random shooter and how I'm going to uh, test this out is I'm going to test the base strategy of this. I'm calling this the Toro Twister. Um, El Toro has uh, some different ideas that he has for his random shooter. I took the baseline of what uh, what he was uh, doing, turned it into a Toro Twister, and I'm going to uh, test out the base, the basically the meat and potatoes of the strategy. Uh, I won't be running behind. I won't be changing it up. Basically, what I'm looking to do is lay out a $200 bet. So we have a $700 bankroll. Starting out with $700. That's a little bit on the low end for this kind of strategy. But we're going to run it and see if it's good. If the strategy is good, 700 should cover. So this is a $200 layout. We have a $10 bet on the 4 and 10. We're just looking to collect that $18. That's all we're going to do. So uh, the $10 will pay $18.9 for each, right? So that's $18. On the 5 and 9 on the felt, we have $30. A $30 5 and 9 pays us $42. So what we're going to do is we'll um, lay out the thirty dollars there. We have a uh, we have a sixty dollars six and eight. Sixty pays seventy. So the beauty of the Toro Twister is such: we are uh, hitting a number and peeling the sister number down until we are off and it's from uh, point established to seven out. I will not have a pass or don't pass, so those are flares that you can add to your game if you decide that you want to, uh, to expand on this. You can add a field bet if you like, um, whenever you decide to do that, so that's another flare. Also when you uh, start knocking numbers down, you can start running through the don't uh, three times, uh, table minimum. Also the other thing is uh, if the point is a 4, 6, 8, or 10. Uh, he likes to uh, lay a hard way bet, uh, table minimum. So if it's a $10 table, a $10 hard, uh, four, six, eight, or 10. So what I'm going to do is, now I'm not gonna do any of the flares because what I wanna do is I wanna test, test the bones, right? Test uh, the structure of the strategy. All the other stuff you can add on. You can add on it, you can pull it off, whatever you wanna do. But what I'm gonna do is if we hit a four, we'll get paid the four, but we'll take the four and 10 down. So this is what we have left. We hit a five, we get paid the five, take the five down and the nine down. You see what I mean? So this is how we're going to play it. This is the Toro Twister. $700 bankroll, we'll try it out. If you guys are not yet subscribed to my channel, 36 Full Press, hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification for future updates. This is uh, another Craps Nation uh, favorite, El Toro, a good friend. If you're not yet subscribed to his channel, go over, hit uh, hit up El Toro's channel, subscribe, like, share with your friends. Anybody else in Crabs Nation, uh, by now, if, you, if you're watching YouTube and you're watching uh, Crabs videos, you know who's in Crabs Nation and who's not. So uh, make sure you follow along. We'll have some updates um, with our trip to uh, trip to Vegas coming up in September. And we have other things going on. I have some chips coming out for donation uh, for Hearts and Hands, which uh, hopefully will be here pretty quickly because I already had the order in for the gloves. I, I mean, I basically, it's, you know, I'm doing it. We're doing it ourselves anyways. It's just part of it, just trying to uh, get some other people to participate. So let's go ahead and... See how the Toro Twister uh, levels up. Like I said, it's a $200 investment. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to work it. I'm going to always work. I'm always going to be on. Um, I do know that uh, that he runs his random strategy. He waits for a point to be established. Um, I guess I could do that, 
but for testing purposes, I, I want to uh, I want to have it always working. I don't really care about the point because I'm not running a pass line or a don't pass. If it's gonna work, it's gonna work. If it's not, it's not. That's the whole idea. Letting you guys see how it plays out, and then we can decide from there. So let's go ahead and take a look. We got ourselves a craps three, three craps right off the bat. Nothing. We got ourselves a nine, six three nine. Right. So a thirty dollar nine pays forty two bucks. Let's get uh, let's get some greens out here. All right, pays forty two. There's 40, 25, 35, 42. Okay, so $30, nine, pays $42. You take the nine and the five and your pay. Just like that. Now we just decreased our bet and took our pay. Let's see what we got here. Five. Does nothing. That was the other sister number. Six. Four, two, six. All right. Pay is 70. All right. $60. Six pays 70. 60 pays 70. 50, 60, 70. That was a six. So we take all of this down. Just like that. Now we're looking for a four or a 10. And we have a $20 exposure, that's it. Wow. Niner, or I'm sorry, that was an eight. Eight, five, three, eight. Eight again. Nine. Yup. Yo again. Yo, yo. Eight. Yo. Nine. Getting the yo's and the nines. Yo's and the nines. Five. Looking for that four, ten, nine. Five, ten, hard, hard ten, nice. So we'll go ahead and collect the 18 bucks, 15, 16, 17, 18, and these come down. So at this point, we've hit, we pulled off, we roll to the seven, right? That's the idea. Um, I personally will not go back up on the same shooter. Uh, unless that shooter knocks his point off. And that brings me to another point. At any point does that same shooter knock off his point, I do not reestablish my whole bet. So if I have this up, say he hits a six, an eight, and then a six, I don't go back up. I will let him ride out until he sevens out. Um, I, I just kind of minimized my table exposure. As you saw in that rule, there was a bunch of numbers we could have got paid on. And people, a lot of people were like, oh, man, if I was running that strategy, I would have left it. Yeah, I know. Um, I've been there, done that. I've heard all that, too. But would you do that? If you were laid out 200 bucks, you went .7 out, would you have left your money out there then? Probably not. So what we're going to do is we'll keep rolling through it. Pretty good hit on the first one. Let me go ahead, set it up again real quick, and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, that was a pretty pretty decent uh, first roll. Pretty decent first roll. We went and pulled down. There's a pretty good chunk of... Uh, chunk of cabbage here we pulled off the table let's see here let's get that leveled up all right we're there all right very good so we're working we got two hundred dollars out here like I said you let it roll till uh 
till you're completely off the table onto the next shooter. Or if they hit a point, you're more than welcome to go back up. It's, your, uh, it's at your discretion. But I always wait point on to point off. Uh, that's, that's your guidelines. You can decide to go back up on that shooter. Um, but if he knocks off the point and you still have money laid out there, I let the whole hand finish. Uh, so I mean, it's at the four and 10 never come or whatever, whatever the situation is. So let's go ahead and see what happens. We are working. There's a nine. There's a nine, so that pays us 42. I'm all about like, this, I want to minimize the amount of exposure that I have. So here's 42 pays the nine. The nine and the five come down. All right. Ten. Eighteen. All right, picking them off. Looks good. Look for that six or the eight. We got ourselves the eight. Nice. So there's another 70, 50, 60, and 70, and everything is down. I've been around this game long enough. I uh, you, you barely, very rarely see it this easy, right? But this is the idea. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to pick it through. So this shooter would keep shooting till the point came off. It's up to you. You can go back on. You can add either a field, you can add some don'ts, whatever you want to do. But for testing purposes, we're hitting just the meats here. Just the meat and potatoes, just the important shit. So came back off, went ahead, we're going to go ahead and lay it out one more time. So you guys can see it. go all right let's get uh let's get this cleaned up all right last roll two hundred dollars out there we got our profit in our rack doing pretty good we are working let's see what happens we got ourselves the 10 Got ourselves the 10, so that's 18. Eight, six, two, eight, pays us 70. Yeah, you lay out, uh, you lay out this kind of money. Just be cautious. Uh, and know that you lay out the 200, one roll of the seven, that $200 is gone. So just be aware of your situation here. There's an eight again, no eight for us. We're looking for that five or that nine. Coming up right here, there's a four. Don't need the four. We need the five or the nine. Five and the nine. Right there is the nine, five, four, nine. All right, so it's gonna pay us 42. And we're down. 42 and we're down just like that that right there folks that is the Toro Twister this is day one uh, hopefully I did a pretty decent job of explaining it uh, big shout out to my buddy El Toro um, as you saw there was no sevens so I mean everybody is making money uh, we're doing good we're gonna work go ahead and work our way through it see what happens so let me know what you guys think. This right here, folks, is my uh, baseline of the Toro Twister. Until later, you guys know what to do. Press up.